Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create this easy lip sync using SF Caddy. So first off, I want to start by saying that this video is sponsored by Scriptfighter, the creators of the SF Caddy tool. And you can find the link down in the description below. All the opinions though in this video are my own. And I've got to say that I love this SF Caddy tool. So the SF Caddy tool comes in great when you want to lip sync your characters. And I've got this character here in After Effects and we're not going to run through all the things. I just animated this guy a little bit or I just added some stuff here. Um, uh, but it's missing its mouth. And uh, when we go into Illustrator, you can see that I have this um, uh, little mouth here. And if I turn this later on, we have this one. And the, the thing what you have to do is you have to create different states, as I call them, for different mouth shapes, actually. So uh, we have our normal state here. Then we have the R uh, mouth. We have the U, the ST, the B or M and P. Let's turn those off. When you're saying a B or an M or a P, uh, your mouth is closed. So that's the state for that. We have the L and then we have all these other ones. And you can just look at, uh, uh, search for Google images for like mouth states for character animation. You can kind of recreate them. This is an F and a V and an A and O where the mouth is a bit more open, of course. And we have the TH the uh, as well in there. And they're all separated into their individual layers. And I've saved that as an Illustrator file and I'll open it here in After Effects. I have this mouth comp and here you have all the layers uh, named after their states and their letters, how, they, how you pronounce them. And uh, they're in here and I'm going to select all of them. And first off, I'm going to make them one frame long. So I'm just going to uh, redo that, uh, zoom in here. I'm holding option on my keyboard and then clicking the end bracket and then we have them one frame. And now we need to have them all at one frame in this composition as well. So right click all, all of them and then we're going to go to keyframe assistant and then sequence layers. Okay. And it will put them all at one frame. So if I jump through this here, you can see we have all these different states of the mouths. So, and on this last one, I'm going to press N on my keyboard, right click and trim comp to work area. So we only have uh, these uh, mouths in here. When I go to my lip sync composition with my character, I'm going to drag in my mouth comp here. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I'm just going to go to this one and I'm just going to drag it down a bit and just place it where you want it. So like that. And in this case, I'm going to parent it as well to our body. All right, so there we have it. And you can go wa walk right through when you can see all the uh, different mouths here. So I'm going to go back here and open the SF Caddy tool. And it is right here. And this is an empty box uh, right now. So what you need to do is select your mouth composition and click on load items. And it will, it will load all of those um, uh, layers you have in here as different buttons in this um, window here. And what you can do, let's just run through the settings real quick. Um, you can change the button size of these things and the distance between them. So you can change that if you want. Um, I like them a bit bigger like that. Okay. Uh, you can um, change how you can name the buttons. But right now it just took over the, the layer names. That's how I created them in Illustrator or in After Effects here. Uh, you can change that to a marker or an index. Uh, use uppercase letters, show tooltips. You can just turn on this off. You know, change the back color for this uh, thing just to how it looks a bit uh, different. Now let's change, let's go with for this one and save. And now it's uh, all uh, pink, which is not what I want right now. Let's leave, leave that uh, kind of uh, gray here and uh, save. So how this actually does, as you can see, that my mouth comp is, made a, is, is a way longer now. And it actually added a time remap function to it. So now your comp is like really long. And what you need to do is really easy. You just go in here and you click on a different letter. So let's say the R, click on it and then boom, it adds that R uh, st mouth state in there. And this, these are all hold keyframes. So these, that means that they don't change until the next one is coming up. So then they don't morph in between. And if I go over here and I click on you, it adds uh, just uh, this new key, this new mouth without adding a keyframe. It, it is automatically adding this time remap keyframe, but you don't need to do anything manually. It's just clicking on the button here of the mouth and it adds it right there. So then you'll have to, of course, um, look at your audio layer. Um, I have this right here. This is my intro that you just heard. 
and I go to the waveform and you can just uh, let's just delete these just uh, let the first one stand there and we want to have the normal state for that and let's go to our first uh, thing here and um, if you play this um, with a spacebar you can hear what I'm saying hey everyone welcome back to Camp Keyframe so uh, you can hear, hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. But on the first frame, it should be like an H or an A, an, an, an A mouth. So we need, we're going to use the E here. Uh, but if you scrub through, you can't hear anything. So if you hold Option uh, on your uh, keyboard and then scrub through, you can actually hear the sounds. So uh, let's start here by adding an E. Uh, we go back here. Uh, let's just um, turn this audio up here. And then we can go a bit further. I hear a clear V there from everyone. So add a V there. Oh, oops. Need to click click on this uh, layer, of course, here. Uh, click on V. And I'm talking quite fast, so there will be a lot of changes here. Uh, so just what you need to do is run through them, uh, your layers, and click on a button to add a new, um, a new mouth. So we'll just run through here. Maybe another E here. One, there's an O. Uh, where is the O? Right there. And the N sound for every one. So we're going to go to this one. And then like that, it just changes these uh, mouths up for you. And if you go back to the settings here, and you can see that we have Alt-click, change button name. And we have Alt-click to jump two frames or jump ten frames with Alt-Shift-click. So what this does, if I'm going to um, hold Option and click on this uh, icon here, uh, I can just change the name. So if I want to change this to something else, it just changes this name here. Uh, let's turn it back to A. And if I uh, want to, let's say I want to have this L here, if I click it, it just adds the um, keyframe here uh, for the new mouth. But if I um, option click it, it adds uh, the mouth and it jumps two keyframes further in time. And if I uh, do that again, and if I, let's say, select this one, and if I hold option and shift, it will jump in. 10 frames further so that may be an uh, easier way of working for you so i'll show you in my lip sync uh, comp that i made earlier which i've uh, added a lot of new other stuff to where you can also see i made uh, the character blink his eyes and i added some joysticks here to give it a bit more life but here if i open the mouth comp here you can see all of these keyframes and you can see it here that it's uh, the mouth is moving hey everyone welcome back to camp keyframe so that's it for this video. If you did like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up or even consider subscribing to the channel. And if you would like to buy the SF Caddy tool, you can find the link down in the description below. And there's also a coupon there with 40% off to purchase the SF Caddy tool for the top 10 buyers, uh, especially for Camp Keyframe viewers. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next Camp Keyframe. Thanks. Bye bye.